I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Actually, in the back of the building, it's a lot of flooding uh, in this area here. This is the voice of High Servant Mother Doris, founder by him sent me, builder of the storehouse. We're at that building, 1500, you saw that, right? Uh, 1500, uh, the pinnacle. It's right here. You see that I'm pointing at this sign here, Lee Road. Uh, arrived here a little bit past the 6.30, around the 6.30 a p.m. hour. Of course, you can see the storm is in the air. I believe somewhere out there is that uh, tropical storm named Fred. Uh, but we already spoke to Fred and let Fred know we, we know about you, Fred, all the way from... Uh, Yogasuga, Japan. So we had someone that we met there by that name, so we know we'll be all right. Um, and so, and so that being said, we're sitting here because it was a real heavy rain. So of course we will add this uh, particular video of the building 1500. We'll add it to the heavy rain. Uh, today is August the uh, 14th of 2021 uh, right away but we won't stay here uh, we'll give you reason why we're pointing to this sign uh, it's lee road uh, the building sets between lee uh, what is it it's it's off of a major street which is lee road but um believe the entrance to the building is off of davison and so and so this is the back portion of the building uh, if we point it out here, you can see it's a lot of water, even like where we are here. But we believe there's a little bit of a leadway if we want to just step out of glory. And we are because we mentioned on last, uh, lots of flooding in this area. Uh, we mentioned on last Saturday, which was August the 7th of 2021, how we were going to come back on uh, the following Saturday, which is this Saturday. Uh, August the uh, 14th of 2021, and we were going to uh, put down that bottle of oil that you saw in the video, 814, uh, what's the date on this one? 814, let's hold that there, 814, um, that one right there, see this one right here, the 814, 2015. Um, we were going to put that around the building as much as we could and in this area as well. And so we had uh, been given those instructions as early as last week. And so we showed that in the video. It was later that night, uh, latest that we've ever, you know, arrived in this area. So uh, we weren't going to do it that day, even though it was the oil, the all in oil day, A-L-L, -L, and OIL day every seventh is that day. Seventh, it's the seventh day or the seventh month or the seventh year is that all in all. And I said, with the, um, depending on how you pronounce it, wherever you may be located or live or grew up, country or whatever, or in the woods or whatever, um, and have that accent, um, it may sound the same. And so, and so we said we would do it today. We're going, it looks like the rain is lifted, but we wanted you to know we're in this area. We did arrive a little bit after, like we said, the, around the 6.30, give a minute or two of, uh, before or after. And uh, it's, it's in the process of a heavy rain, just finishing up all the way here. It was really raining heavily, uh, but nevertheless, uh, the reason why we are pointing to the sign and a good thing that the front entrance over there where uh, his servant normally do park, you, we might get a spree of water right about now because some of them do hit that puddle. So that's what we might experience right now. And we're like sitting on the edge of that. He slows down, so that's beautiful. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we wanted to share with you why we're sitting here and uh, it is as if this is a uh, divine, you know, purpose of why we're on this side 
Uh, it is as if the big puddle that is sitting right there where you would normally see the videos before of where Glory and Me would be parked, it is full of water. Maybe by the time we get around that, some of that would have already absorbed into the uh, into the area, into the earth. Uh, but we'll see. But it was so much there, we didn't, you know, for us to pull up in there, we wouldn't have been able to. If we stepped out, it would have been in a puddle of water. Uh, so we're, we're on this side, uh, rather than the park in the grass or whatever like that, there is a, a opening right here to park and that's where we are that is off uh, on the side of the road. And so that being said, it's, it's just a perfect location because it's right here by the Lee Road sign at the 1400, which is also even a greater, didn't even see that till now, at the 1400. So that's even a greater and a more perfect spot to uh, have Park Glory and me. Uh, that being said, uh, this building, what makes this building so special is that if we showed you the date again of this, that's on this oil, you will see that it's 814 of 2015. And that was, believe it or not, the exact date uh, from day to the month to the year uh, that his servant MD mother um, passed on to uh, and, you know, crossed over, if we could say that and all uh, where the window was open and you know we were given by the spirit that i'm opening a window and as much as we uh wanted to divert it and send it another way we knew that time had come and uh in her crossing um the the her presence like we often say that some people their spirit and all is very strong but they had a very strong spirit uh, of course we will talk about that more um, and uh, in her crossing, uh, this, and we were almost going to bring that uh, Bop number 14 of Isaiah 60 and 14, known as, AKA as the Bop 14. We were going to, you know, pack it up and bring it down here in glory, but uh, we'll just do a, uh, a photo and just put it with this video. But that particular, just imagine that particular poster that had been on the wall forever, for a very long time, in the holding of those meetings and and the I must build him a storehouse time. Been on that wall forever, but in her crossing, um, it, it fell off the wall. And the thing that held it up was basically almost falling with that. Um, we have the, the things we'll just, just make it inserts here for you to, to get a little here and a little there of what we're talking about. And her spirit was so strong, it literally took that off the wall. And we can't tell you how many people had uh, gone in and out of that entrance, used that same door where that poster was, and it never moved. And this particular day on August the 14th of 2014, of 2015 um, is when it fell off the wall, just like that. And we knew his, well, his servant knew she was going, she was gone. Um, and uh, in her cross, and, and as that uh, Bob 14, Isaiah 60 and 14 fell off the wall, um, and that that was holding it almost came off with it. Uh, so you know it was a force uh, that was with that. And uh, when it hit the floor of the storehouse, it, as she's crossing, uh, could hear my mother say to me, Doris, heal the sick, heal the sick. And so that's that's one of the reasons there was that yoke and on the back of that, you can see it says heal the sick. Those were specific words, message that was left from uh, my mother. And uh, it was left on eight, 14, 2015. So this building right here, what draws me here, we've seen it for a while. Like I said, it's been vacant for a very long time. Uh, anything over a couple of years is, um, you know, something that is worth paying attention to. And uh, we have shown you that it does have a sign on it that says for sale that has been there for some time. And you can see there's been refreshing and you know, over and over, and it's still here. 
it seems to be we'll point in that direction and come back. Seems to be a very nice building. We, you, you know we love it because of the pillows, all the pillows. Uh, uh, look, the pillows, no, pillars. It has pillars in the front, P-I-L-L-A-R. But we love it more because of all the windows. And so um, back to this Lee Road. Uh, this is another building um, that has uh, a very strong uh, presence that brings me here. And of course, if we were to tell you the name of my mother, her middle name is Lee. Her middle name is Lee. So uh, it's, it's much to observe at this building right here um, that, that has our interests. Uh, very highly, and like we said, we would dedicate it uh, specifically in, in, in a lot of areas uh, as we would have a uh, tribute of her as well uh, as the, the push behind uh, all of this. Let's keep that sign there. Uh, the push behind all of this and uh, you know, to see the Lord heal her body to the point that doctors would scratch their head and all the things that they would say they would do and, and they couldn't and didn't do it. To see at uh, the very end of that where what pushes and motivates his servant. We've said this before. I uh, shared it, the words that um, was like the next to the last conversation that uh, his servant had with uh my mom and that was uh, talking to her on the phone and she's saying certain things that I'm saying to her um, you know you know mom don't let them start cutting on you when they start cutting on you uh, they just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and uh, whatever made her uh, give consent which you know to this day his servant really don't believe she did uh, and talking to her a couple times and and uh, hearing what she said and and uh, agreeing with uh, his servant that she wasn't going to allow certain things. And, uh, of course, we had the power of attorney and all that. And everything that we, um, uh, as they asked the questions over the phone, if this went wrong, if this happened like this, uh, can we go ahead and put her on, like, the, the ventilator, you know, put the tube and everything in, the, in her mouth and... And his servant said, no, you know, do not disturb her like that. You know, if it's, if it gets that bad, to not allow her to suffer and to let her pass peacefully. And I'm certain that if you saw my mother and as strong as she was, you, could, you wouldn't know that more things happen than just um, wrong medicine and, and poor given advice from her doctors. Um, you could tell that she put more trust in the doctor than she did in that God that had healed her body completely uh, over and over and over and over and over and time and time again. And so uh, to talk to her that day, a uh, few days before her passing, and I'm sure she didn't even know, she didn't know uh, that she was bleeding to death. Uh, and the spirit revealed it to his servant and it's amazing how the doctors hide things and want to hide things, especially when our loved ones are in these hospitals alone. Um, and they had flew her all the way to Baltimore. Uh, but the thing about it is that uh, when she was talking to me that day and she shared with me, she said, uh, she's always been a woman of few words. And she said to me, uh, you know, they, they, they tried to put these tubes. Now, listen, we said that we had said to them not to do that. And she said that they went to put the tubes down her mouth, these blue tubes and all. And, and she said it gagged her, it choked her and all until she was just telling them to stop doing it. Well, they weren't supposed to do that anyway. And, uh, and uh, just, just, you know, the, the, the carelessness of, of these doctors cost her her life uh, at the very end. And uh, when I was talking to her that day and she was sharing the things that was happening, 
and how they, she had them to take it out of her mouth and all. And, and uh, we started talking and, and as we were talking and she was telling me what the doctors were saying and all. And then somehow the conversation just went in a direction where it didn't sound like my mother, it didn't sound like my mom. And, um, and I'm speaking to her from the place of the spirit that reminded her of what God had already done time and time again. And then to hear my mom say to, um, to her daughter, to even um, the very spiritual guidance of her soul, to hear her say, Doris, uh, everyone don't have faith like you do. It, that was like one of someone, it was like someone just grabbed a hold of MD throat and like wanted to choke the very life out of his servant and just took it to the point where there was no response to come out of his servant. Um, and uh, we, we, we were so silent from that. Not one sound came from his servant because it could have been a moment of, I don't know, shock. They don't know if it was shock or disappointment or this can't be that 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 woman that would shout all over the church it can't be that woman that you understand that told me you know um raised me up in the church and all of that this this cannot uh be that same one and it just literally like as all of a sudden there was like a yoke put about his servant neck and uh the phone call you know kind of like went towards where we you know set our CUs where we'll talk again kind of thing and you know and she hung up on her side I hung up on where I was I'm here in Florida she's in uh, Baltimore and no words to describe what would be the comeback line what would be said after someone says who have seen God work time and time and time again miracle after miracle and a mystery that just seemed like only God could solve. Um, no words to describe how we would come back and say something that would be uplifting um, and powerful enough to to open the eyes uh, to see what God could do and have done time and time again. And so, with no words, I'm 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 almost in tears, and because that's my mom you see, almost in tears and uh, held them back so she wouldn't hear it. And, you know, and almost when she was like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I couldn't even like really like talk because to talk would have like, she would have heard the, the crackling or whatever in my voice of, of uh, you know, something being said that may have been like, you know, why is my, you know, Doris, you know, responding like, you know, with with such less words or words that sounds like she's she's about to cry. So I didn't want her to worry like that. So I held and I just basically, mm-hmm, and uh, we just basically hung up the phone. The next day, uh, somewhere between that call and the next day, the Spirit of God came upon me and quickened my spirit and said, when she calls again, when you get in touch with her again, I want you to ask her, um, remind her what she said. Doris, say it out of your own, your own mouth so you can be strong enough to say what I need you to say, the Spirit said. And so we went to say the words that my mother said. Doris, everyone don't have faith like you do. And so when I was on the phone, I said it like that. And then I said, Mom, I said, the Spirit of God gave me to ask you these words. Mom, you don't, you don't even have, a, you don't even have a, a, the size of a mustard seed because that's all you need. And uh, that's what the Spirit said to say to her. You don't have the, the, the size of a mustard seed because that's all you need. And uh, after we talked then, uh, may I add that that was our last conversation. And it was the 8.14 that we received the word. And we were right there on the phone as all this was transpiring. And when the Lord said to me, 
the Spirit of God said to me, I opened a window. Um, we knew, his servant knew that she would be crossing any time after that. And in her crossing, that's what happened. Uh, that that bop number 14, Isaiah 14, 16 and 14, fell off the wall and hit the floor. And the Lord let me see through that, uh, that she was part of this, of the 14 generation, that he would not forget about her because of how uh, she had uh, saved at one point uh, in his servant life, you know, her daughter's life. And so the Lord held that um, in remembrance as that window was open. And so it's a very powerful day today. It's nothing to be sad about. It's a blessing because she spoke strong words that said heal the sick. And that's the only reason, and we're about to get out now. That's the only reason that his servant, uh, believe it or not, uh, oh, let's cut this off. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Get back to that song. That's the only reason that his servant um, has really pursued this this thing called building. A lot of the water dried up. You can see right there that a lot of the water, even here where the puddles were, they quickly um, were absorbed. And we're going to stay right here. Let's get back to that side there sometimes. We can be all over the place and be on the, on, on the road and we look over at that building and a lot of uh, the graffiti, that that's what you call it, is on that building over there. But it's been sitting also vacant for a while. And we'll put the right name that you call it if that's not the graffiti or we'll, we'll put the right name if that's not the right one. But um, This is the back of the building that sets off of Lee Road, 1400. And that's the only reason why we are pursuing um, uh, that perfect building. And uh, this one is very on that, like the top of the list, like 709 was. And, and, and instead of giving you the the how that building came um she also had a, pu a pull in that one as well um in the lift up thine eyes we're crossing over this here the lift up thine eyes and it was t almost close to like two months maybe a day give a day that after she passed that's when i found that um spirit gave us to see that building at 709 and so we'll put all the signs that was just so powerful that came with that building. And that one, like we said, if that one ever came up for sale, the server would be highly, highly, highly. There is a young, highly, highly, highly interested in that, in that building because it has his servant, like the whole family, <laughs> um, the whole family, Believe you or not, the whole family, at one point, the dumpster set way over there. I saw that, uh, servant saw that pulling up here earlier. Um, but the whole family that belonged to um, his servant from my father, the I, from my, one of my son, the peace. Uh, my brother James, Arthur, all of them, every part, the Hathaway, all of that set at that building as, as sign after sign after sign. And that was the building that uh, the Spirit opened uh, his servant eyes about the inheritance, that there was an inheritance when it come down to uh, his servant uh, and all. And that's what got everything started. That's what really put us towards this um this soul search if you would say for a building uh, the connection would be like that it would be a very strong connection and uh that building we're going to put every sign 
and we're going to connect it to this video for you to see um, and all and that thing uh, you know really pushed us to like really 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 um, get out in the city and and look for this um, this particular building now what we're going to do since we're already on this side we're coming back because I have the oil in my hand so what we're going to do is we and we said we were going to put all, use all of this because we've already taken out the five bottles um, we, we, we at one time we had 10 bottles and then all of a sudden a powerful light hit his sermon and said you understand let us see about the five that was wise and five that were foolish and not to waste this on any anything or anyone foolish and giving away that oil who do not believe in yoke destroying anointing oil oil and so since we're on the back side of this uh building we're going to start from here from the edge over here all the way around and and uh use this bottle down here it's almost like we did at 709 and a powerful uh, testimony came out of that but we're going to link all of that piece by piece it may take a little minute but we'll link it piece by piece for you to see the power that come from all of that and you can see we have a pretty good size here um in all and uh, we have our five containers already the tubes are are uh, already filled and we're just going to drop it not on the sidewalk but in the grass right here i'm going to put it in the instructions is to put this uh in the grass uh just almost similar to the way we did it at 709 uh, Edgewater Drive. So we're going to start. You can see me do a little bit of it here. We won't um, we won't waste not one drop of it going around this building because we said that if um, this is this is what we know. This is what we know. This is we've been doing this for many many years. Um, what we know is this. That's what we've said that the real purpose behind I am sitting in the storehouse getting a building give or get is what we said um, is it's just to heal the sick my god the blow by my seat it's just to heal the sick it's it's, it's a place where um where we said to get the Spirit of God uh, to rest. What well, we can use the word rested. We've had the R-E-S-T. We're in that R-E-S-T-I-N-G right now. Uh, we're still there. Uh, look like we're gonna have to run this across out here. Because it's, it's a do not enter, so we abide by that. We abide by that. But uh, and these are the things that you'll find in this area. All up in there, like I said. Uh, you see that? Um, see how they cut all that back? See that? That's that's very. You can see up in this area here. It just it just needs some TLC right here, right? You see over there? You can see fresh cuts. You see that? Fresh cuts. Fresh cuts. You see that over there? You can see straight up in there. It's a very nice piece of property. Very nice piece. Very nice piece. Very, very nice piece. And you can see. See that? You can see up in there. And that's what you need to do. Because before they had lights down here. And now they don't. So it needs an open area to be able to at least see up in the building. Look like they cut some of that away. A lot of the trees. And uh, they've cut a lot of that away. So you can see up in the building. And that's beautiful. Let me pick this up here. Um, but that's the whole, that's the whole reason for 
a building is for the Spirit of God. Lord, have mercy to rest in that building to do as the message was given to us. And that was to heal the sick. Um, so we're almost there. We're going to go as far as we can get up in here. A lot of the weeds you can see that have come uh, out on the sidewalk. We'll put some room on this over here because we can't get up there. And uh, you know how MDC, a lot of the water has has uh, been absorbed. You still see the major puddle, but all of this was full. This is a whole puddle here. So we'll do as we did the other one, and this will be the last little bit. And this is the perfect one because, as you can see, the yoke in here, down there, right there. And so we're going to put this. This is the front entrance. There's that uh, right there. The uh, dumpster that normally sits over there. It's over here. You can see that the uh, that sofa and the mattresses are still here, and just just things just uh, just sitting around. Um, but it's just a nice piece of property um, and with a vision someone with a vision such as I am sitting in the storehouse um, you know you could take this to another place another level and make it very very nice very very beautiful and also be able to aid in the community and and beautify the community and bring blessings bring blessing after blessing into the community so let's uh go ahead and put the the yoke part of the the oil all the way over here and all and uh that will be my god the last of that you can see that's the last of that right here in front of the very building right there Again, this is the voice of high servant Mother Doris found and I am sent me build of the storehouse and uh, we're at that fifteen hundred. Uh, you can see that over there on that uh, far left side of the building. We're at fifteen hundred. Uh, sets off a of Lee Road. It's the pin pinnacle. It used to be a funding corporation. Um, and uh, there's no telling how long. It's, it's beautiful over here. It looks like that sign that was saying that this uh, property was for sale. But you can see that someone come to cut it, but they just didn't go up on the field. You can see that the branches are still here. Uh, as we walk across the street here come back on that sidewalk or those crosswalks but it used to be a real big sign here and uh, I'm just going over here because it looks like now um, it looked at the, like before they had a regular like maybe someone selling it for them now it looks like there's this little small sign I'm just going over here to see it the big side is gone but you can see there's a small side and just want to see what it is but there was something at one time on this property, like two buildings or whatever. Oh, somebody wrote, thank you, Jesus. And Gary, thank you, Jesus, only God. I guess they might have sold it. I don't, what do you think? Or is this thing that says, thank you, Jesus. And then it has something the rain then washed it off. And then it says, and Gary, only God. So they might have sold it. Who knows? But there was that one side, and we showed it to you. Uh, and all that was right here in this area here. But it's a very, this is a very nice location. Like we said, our interest is because of that Lee. Um, the same name as our mother, our middle name. And we've seen this building um, pass by it, but really didn't focus in on it when we first came into the city uh, this building was here cannot say whether or not uh, uh, 
his servant ever saw any activity there because you know it wouldn't be true to say that because we weren't focused that focused in even though it was at the point of take the ministry to florida and i bless you with the blessing i promise you in isaiah 60 okay we still wasn't looking at that time at a building and uh, also we're going to attach another um another video of like from the very um i want to do this very very it's like something like a sense of humor uh, we heard ourselves say that a couple times in a in a or what was it a chosen catalog we heard the word get go and we said it twice so it come through the spirit again so uh from the very get go um um, we talked about the building 709 and said we would put all the information that it's just going to be mind blowing uh, when you see all of that. It was like my whole family moved in that building with me. It was like my whole family was like, <laughs> you know, um, making his sermon aware of our inheritance. Yeah, they really came down here and did some cutting away of those bushes and things so you could see up in the parking lot and everything. And that's beautiful. I mean, they literally cut like those bushes you see there. They were like right here. And uh, you can literally see up in there. And that's beautiful. Um, and so, uh, but there's another powerful video uh, from the storehouse. The days of, I must build him a storehouse. There is powerful video footage uh, where I'm showing you um, the com how we converted a um, or transformed a garage to uh, the storehouse and uh, we're showing you how we were filled to capacity and how uh, his servant I believe we were like 51 at that time we're talking like eight years ago and uh, that that thing moved in a in a in a way where um, we talked about looking for a building and so i believe that was when the the seed was planted um about that building and getting a building and uh it was from that moment on that little video um and all that took you know transpired after that um that maybe we'll get the exact dates we don't want to call any dates until we really have that video but we'll put it here so you can see it we'll link it to this as well so you can see that we've been talking this to the point that now we are really 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 pursuing this and then if those out there that can hear a servant and under the sound of his servant's voice um we just took a look in the land and all around the world, AATW. Um, people are leaving here uh, very quickly. And uh, many are trusting the hospitals to be the solution. When in mere fact and truth, the solution is God. It is the Spirit. And so we have got to get to a place where we can get the Spirit of God rested. And when the hospitals are full to capacity, and we've 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 prophesied this and spoke this as as messages that come from God, that the hospitals would get so full and people would be wheeled into the house of God, some on stretchers and, and all. But they 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 made a decision: just get me back to the church, just get me back to the house of God, get me back to where the power of God is. And then we will begin to see people live and not die. And so that's the sole purpose of, of a building. We just can't just get any building. It has to be a building where uh, even his servant can sense and feel the very presence of God. And we've taken you to two so far in all. And uh, 
have shared with you the MD. This is like the second one on that MD list for building for I Am Sydney. Just to put up that name, I Am Sydney. There is no I Am Sydney like that in this city or in the state of Florida. And, and these storehouses, the signature we put on there, the T-H-E-E -E, that comes out of the Blessed the Promise of Isaiah 60. To give it the signature that there is none other, not one, storehouse like this storehouse. Th th there is none like it. Because there is none like MD. There's none like Mother Doris. There's none like his servant. And so this is the reason for all of this. We've come completed that assignment um, in more ways than one. I'm sure you're going to hear a servant talk more about that because we did the pouring of the oil around this building and all to stop any type of strange and, and uh, any type of activity that will harm this building. Uh, and all as our eyes are on this building. And like we said, if you're an investor out there and you're looking for something to invest in, the storehouse, I am sitting in. We are inviting you to reach out to us. We will put the information in this video as well. And we look forward to speaking with you and for those, if you call and you do not get this voice to immediately answer, do, if you're serious enough, leave a message and promise we will get right back with you as soon as possible. Well, we've done that. We're done for today. It's been pretty much a very long day. It's windy. It's wet um, and all. And we're about to head out and go back in the direction in which we've come. And until next Saturday, about this time, well, next Saturday we'll have the box. We'll bring the boxes in glory. Uh, but right now we wanted to focus on getting that oil around this building on 8-14-2021. Uh, we wanted to focus on that to bring things into its perspective and into that timing. And uh, for it to even be released in the atmosphere uh, and also to sh share with those that are listening and are within the own reach of the hug uh, the reason why this building is of very special importance is because of that name um, that l e e all right and all the other information we will put it here and all and uh, just keep checking back and all because we're filling up our videos with that thing called proof <laughs> you understand because we realize people can talk a lot of talk and uh, can can sidekick or sidetrack or or tag team behind someone else with no experience but we're putting our experiences our encounters our enlightenments our walk and our talk that all of that is the same. And just as you see, is just as what you will get. Well, until next Saturday, which is the 21st of August, peace, order, harmony, pleasant. God bless.